take the kayak out and uh, as I was putting it in I found those I don't know if I left them there or not one actually had a cork in it so I don't think they're probably New York bottles can't read it right now I don't feel like it but I'm gonna leave them there until I uh, come back so let's see what we can find Following me for about 50 feet everywhere I go, he's just coming by me. All right, so I got a slug plated milk bottle up here. And I just got to get up here safely. It's kind of not the easiest thing to do at on the side of a kayak, so I'm gonna shut you off and walk over to it. All right. How it gets up here is beyond me, unless it just comes out of these walls over here. Perth Amboy, Milk and Cream Company. Oh well, I was hoping it was a Raleigh bottle, but I'll take it. Looks like it's got some nice fluting going on. Oh. One quart, Perth Amboy, Milk and Cream. Perth Amboy, New Jersey. Let's see what else we got over here. Alright, it's a good start. Alright, cruising by. Did you see it? I see it. Cone ink sitting up on the bank. Now, just to get up there again, it's a pain in the ass getting that and out of this thing. Alright, I'll show you when I get it. Alright, I was able to grab it with my reek. Actually, it looks, uh, looks pretty good. I think it's aqua. Aqua. I don't see nothing written on the bottom. A couple dots. But that is a nice one. I will take that. I don't find cone inks out here too often. A crude, uh, crude piece of glass going on there. Yeah, it looks like it'll clean. Ooh, what do they got there? another crude piece of glass. All right, I can't wait to clean this one up. We'll see what that looks like. Yeah, I just pulled this big Coke bottle out. I'm sure it's getting harder and harder to find, but I don't think I want to drag it out of here. There's a giant carp jumping out over here. I was hoping to maybe catch one. Yeah. I haven't really been showing many bricks coming out. But I haven't found any new ones, but there's a whole bunch hanging around like these two stars and stuff. I've been looking, but I don't find nothing new that I need for my wall lately. I checked on them. That guy was out there drowning and I saved him. I've been walking in circles for a minute or two, so I don't know if he's going to make it, but the bumblebee. So I saved him. Came up on that. There's a couple American bricks around too. Nothing. Looks more like a cream jar. Cream cheese or something. It's say on the base contents. I can't read that on my glasses on. I don't usually come down here early in the morning like this, but all these cranes. There's gotta be 20 of them. 30 maybe. Pretty cool. Alright, so here's one we're too late for. It's the lions and sons out of Newark. 
bottoms popped out. Um, I actually just bought off eBay um, a blob top version of this bottle with the uh, lines embossed on it. I got a crown top and a blob top. Um, it's pretty cool. So, too bad we're too late for that one. Check this guy out living his best life, man. Arm hanging over. Chilling. I think he's alive. There's a little Pepsi. Something you don't see too often. No return bottle. I think I'm gonna take that for fun. You don't see them around too much down here. I'm gonna walk the banks a little bit here. I've been, uh, that's what I've been doing today. Just riding along the bank because the water, anything after like two, three inches, you can't see anything. So I'm just doing the banks. Kind of sucks. Everybody says that uh, we're in droughts and everything else. I don't know. It hasn't rained here. I don't know how long, really. But these rivers are still high. The river I was at yesterday was the highest I've seen it in a very long time. So there you go. PepsiCo. Is it 10 ounce? Get a better look at it once I clean it up later. I came across that. Probably looks like a knee high or something like that. I got that guy over there. I don't know what he's up to. He's just hanging out watching me. But anyway, we'll pull this out. I usually don't take these things, but we'll just look at it. High label, nothing embossed, just a little ribs on it. Leave it for somebody else in a hundred years. Brown chicka, wow, wow. There's been a lot of these guys hanging out, doing the do. I don't know why they're getting dried up over here. There's been a bunch in the water. Wow, is that the way he's dying? What a way to die. <laughs> And I'll give you a quick look of why there's always so many bottles and rivers. over here <clears throat> low mower engine a little bit of everything over here some of the stuff looks like it's in the 50s or something but I don't want to be over here it's kind of in somebody's backyard so just wanted to take a quick peek I got a dilemma. I see something up there that looks old. Probably just a lion's in sun or something, but then I see another one all the way over there. It also looks like it could be old. But that's probably chest deep. Chest deep. I pushed my kayak up this far so far. I don't know if I feel like muscling my kayak up this mud and see what they are. I'm sure it's going to be nothing for nothing. Alright, let's see if I try it. <sighs> I don't know, sometimes I think I'm mentally challenged. I don't know how I just pushed myself up there with my rake, but I did. And now we're going to see for what. Probably nothing even embossed on it. Nope. It's an amber bottle. That base got me. I don't feel like wiping it off. Let's go see what the other one is over there. All right, made it over to this one now. 
looks like a citrate bottle. I don't see anything embossed on it. Let's see. Nope. Oh well. Oh my hands. You can see what these things do to these trees. These lantern flies, whatever the hell they are. Yeah. Look, at the, look at the ground, it's like all sappy, wet. Wrecks them. Look at this branch. Should kill them. Alright, I'm done. Take a quick look at what we got. Got a milk bottle. It says registered, sealed, content, 12 ounces. Got the Pepsi bottle and no return Pepsi. I know. Probably to find it today. This uh, really crude inkwell. Looks like a number eight on the bottom, maybe? No, there's two dots. So it looks like it's in pretty good shape. Found this, I didn't show you guys come out, I don't know what it is. I'll clean it up. It's an old pot lid. Uh, the old Coke, larger size. The two uh, little ones that were there when I came down. I don't know why I've been taking them lately, but I have. And then another good one for today, the Perth Amboy uh, Milk and Cream Company. Can't wait to see what that looks like coming cleaned up. Wish it was a raw way, but I'll take it. All right, see you later. All right, so here's everything cleaned up for maybe the last two videos, maybe even three. I don't even know, but so thought I would show you everything halfway cleaned up. So I'll start off with. Uh, let me turn this light down. It's kind of hard to. The little mug I found last week it said home was never like this. It actually has Japan in it. But uh, it's pretty cool. And then the clay pipe, I cleaned it up. It says TID on it. It looks like TID or it's TD. I don't know. I'm really not big on uh, clay pipes, but cleaned up okay. Uh, recent video, the most recent clean that guy up kind of cool looking it's oval um, two milk bottles that were uh, this was the Alderney Dairy uh, from Newark so it usually has a, the, the, the embossed ones have a big A on it say Alderney Dairy but I don't even know why I took that same thing with this one this is probably like a cream cheese normally I don't even take them they just take up a room. Uh, honey. Lakeshore honey. Had a little metal top on it. Came off and uh, so I just cleaned it up a little bit. It's pretty cool with a little honeycomb on it. Uh, the LS bottle. This was a Steinberger, L Steinberger from Jersey City. Uh, after cleaning it up looks pretty decent but after cleaning it up I got a crack see that oh well um, the tip top I didn't really clean this this thing was giving me a hard time and it's really not that great of a bottle to be killing myself cleaning but this is actually from Springfield Massachusetts it's called tip top then the Kelly's beverage I didn't notice, but it has some stars around it. Around Kelly's. Just says Kelly's beverage and then the uh, contents. Uh, no, uh, no city where it was made or from. Two Coke bottles that were right there when I walked up. One's from New York, I believe. Yep, New York. And it actually had a cork in it. And the other one has nothing on the base. They're both just registered. So nothing to write home about. The bigger Coke. The painted label. Usually don't take them either, but I took it. 
And then a no deposit Pepsi with a bottle cap on it. Pepsi Cola. Kind of cool. This was from like two videos ago. The uh, I never cleaned it off, so I just quickly cleaned it off. The Rising Sun Brewery blob top that had the top popped off. Maybe I'll make a glass out of it. Or I'll just leave it alone. I don't know. Uh, last soda bottle was this. The Wiener. J. Wiener and Company from Woodbridge. This was a nice bottle. Nicely embossed. It was in decent shape. It wasn't all river rashed up. So if I tumbled, that would come out pretty nice. And I have a bunch of these, so. A bunch of different ones. So I was glad I found that one just sitting there laying on the bank. And I pulled that one out of the bank. This one cleaned up pretty nice. It's a store bottle. This is five cent store bottle. Kind of like it. A lot of embossing on this bottle. And on this side, this is universal store bottle, one quart liquor, liquid. Midget. Registered U.S. Patent Office. So that was a pretty cool one. And then, last but not least, the Perth Boy Milk and Cream Company from Perth Boy. Another one just sitting on the bank waiting for me to come pick it up. It's not bad. It has a couple of... Uh, has one fish eye somewhere. Yeah, right there. That's it. Other than that, and some, you know, caseware. Looks pretty decent. I saw it was a slug plate. I was hoping it was a rollaway bottle, but take what you get. And last but not least was this really crude cone ink. So you can see how it has glass hanging off of it. This side also, all kinds of weird glass going on. And it has that thing, like a bubble fold. I don't know what you want to call that. It can clean up a lot better, but that's what I did for now. Nothing on the base, no carters or nothing like that. But, you know, wasn't a bad haul this time. Right. Peace.